police are not enforcing the laws. And most importantly, there's fare evasion going on all throughout the system. If you're not going to enforce the fare, if you're not going to protect the turnstiles, you're basically giving a license to criminals and gangbangers to come in. And then there are the emotionally disturbed persons, the lost souls. They need our help. What I would do is refund the police. And I'm the only candidate that would actually hire 3,000 more police. First, I need my police officers down there deployed correctly. Police officers should not be standing at the token booth three, four at, the, at a time. I want them on the train, stopping at platforms, inspecting the platforms. Then a real partnership with mental health professionals and police officers to actively go after those who are on the subway system, doing some of the petty crimes, pushing people on the subway, uh, stealing, all of those types of, of, of crimes. So I think it's a combination of those mental health issues and those who have believed that the subway system is now open to crime. Number one, we must have school safety agents that are trained, paid well, and great at conflict resolution. We should, should use the new technology. There's technology out there that you don't have to dehumanize children that could identify a gun without the scanners and without the devices. So we're going to lean into that. Mm -hmm. Second, we need to be really proactive. The goal is to make sure our children be part of the overall public safety plan of their school, and that's what we're going to, going to do. You've got to keep the school safe the officers under the supervision of the NYPD. They only have 5,000 men and women, mostly of color. They're unarmed. Remember, every time they do an intervention to take a gun or a loaded gun, they're risking their lives. They never get attention and recognition. Greg Floyd, the leader of the union, has said they need an additional 500 security officers in the schools. And the city council has said no. And in fact, the city council, some of the members want to take out the metal detectors. That's crazy. So you're keeping the metal detectors in schools? Absolutely. Gangbangers would run amok if they knew that there was no chance that they would be stopped with a loaded gun 